Hey guys, how are you? This is part three of a small engine build. Uh, today's tools we're going to be using, we're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket. It says 10 millimeter on there somewhere, the camera's having a hard time focusing. Quarter inch drive. So the square on the end is a quarter inch. Going to be using a little bit of a smaller ratchet today, quarter inch drive ratchet. Going to be using a 10 millimeter combination wrench. This ends are called a ratcheting wrench, though, an, or a box end ratchet wrench. This side's called an open end. And we're going to wind up using an electric impact gun with a black impact socket, which I believe this one is a 22 millimeter. Probably says it on there somewhere. All right, I'm going to wind up taking you guys off the mount on the wall and put you on another mount so you guys can uh, see better. The last couple of videos I was not happy with the visual. All right, let's see what we got here. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to be patient. This is all new to me. All right, so, first thing, we got two gears here. We got our crankshaft timing gear, we got our camshaft timing gear, and we have a black dot, which is called the camshaft timing mark, and then we have another little dot called our crankshaft timing mark. When we put these motors together, they have to be lined up. So the job of the camshaft is to control the opening and closing of the valves. The job of the crankshaft is to be able to um, move the piston up and down. All right, so now that I have them lined up, I know there's no pressure on I should be able to pull this right out. Okay, so another point of interest on here is that are called cam lobes. Now the camshaft lobes, they control how far the valve opens and for how much time. Those two terms in the automotive field, we call them lift and duration. And then inside here, I have what's called lifters. So what happens is these, lo these uh, lifters ride on the lobes, which hit the push rods, which hit the rocker arms, which make our valves open. So I'm going to pull both of these out for right now. Put them in my bag that says lifters. All right. You guys see this little piece right here on the end of the connecting rod? very important piece right there. It's called an oil slinger. What happens is, is we have, the motor usually sits like this. There's usually oil in here and as this thing spins it dips in the oil and throws it around the motor. Splashes it around. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting these two what's called connecting rod cap bolts off. Very hard spot to work in. I'm going to try to use my ratcheting wrench. Break it loose. That's the one thing that's great about this type of wrench. Is they got a ratchet on it. And instead of having to lift it on and off the nut, I could just sit here and ratchet it until it comes off. Now there are some sharp edges on this job. These little edges here are sharp. You've got to be careful not to get cut. I've had quite a few students get cut putting their hands in here. It's all right, cuts aren't going to kill you. Makes you tough. All right, so I got that one loose, and let's do the bottom one. Yeah, working with your hands, you're going to get a lot of cuts. We went over this in safety. But yeah, I got to wound up, you know, I've been in this field a long time now. And got quite a few uh, scars on my hands. All 
All right, I'm ratcheting this off. Now I'm gonna whip my fingers. All right, and I got my cap off. And my next step is I'm gonna wind up pushing this connecting rod here. Now that it's off the journal, I'm actually going to use the journal to help me push it out a little bit. So what you guys are going to see is the piston coming out of the hole. Now I almost got it out, and I'm just going to have to push it a little more with my fingers. And the piston comes out of the hole. Alright, awesome. Now what I'm going to do is so I don't lose these things, is I'm going to hand tighten these screws on here. Got to stay organized. A lot of the reasons why kids don't get these motors back together is because they wind up losing parts. There always seems to be one kid in the group who uh, just not interested in this and winds up someone putting him in charge of organizing things and he just doesn't do it or she doesn't do it and things get lost. Alright, so what we're looking at here, this piece here is called our clutch cup. Our, uh, let me see if I can get you the piece, the starter cover. Get the starter cover for you so you can get a look at this. So we got our starter cover. You see inside there, it's going to be these little teeth that come out when I pull it. See those little teeth when I pull the string? Those little teeth grab these holes in here and they turn our crank. So we learned about our four strokes, our intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. So once this gets spinning enough, we wind up having those explosions and keeps it spinning. That's our clutch cup. Now, the other day I went over this a little bit. This is our fan. The fan creates air that goes across our cooling fins and keeps the motor cool. And this metal piece here is called the flywheel. The flywheel has a magnet on it right there. It's part of our ignition system. And this is, when I get the nut off, you'll see that there is what's called a uh, keyway and a key that lines this thing on properly so uh, we have ignition happen at the right time. So this might get a little noisy. I got to use this impact gun to get this off. Take my nut off. Take my cup off. Now if you notice, there's all kinds of little bumps and holes for this all to line up into, like this one that sticks out is another common piece. This little bump that comes out has to go in this hole right here when it goes together. All right, so that's very important to know. Now this piece is jammed on there. This has to be taken off with a hammer. So I'm gonna line it up that I can hit it with a hammer right here. This hammer here is called a ball peen hammer. Sometimes people call it a machinist hammer. flywheel off. I don't know if you guys can see too well, but right here is that key and it splines right in that key way. And I think the only thing that I have left to do now is wiggle this crankshaft out. And our crankshaft is out. Now, we got this part here, where our connecting rod goes, is called the rod journal. Now this is where most of the wear on the motor happens, is actually, this is steel, this is aluminum. This winds up wearing out, and it gets uh, what's called uh, too much clearance, and creates what's called a rod knock. So when people say my motor's knocking, more than likely, it's knocking on this journal, rattling around. It's a good video on YouTube where a guy runs a motor that he's cut in half with no oil in it and you see all the slop on the rod until it breaks apart. These are called 